Hi, I'm Kevin Michalowski, editor of Concealed Carry Magazine. In this edition of Into the Fray, we'll talk about the use of less lethal defensive ammunition. I just got an email from a viewer who says that he loads his magazines with two less lethal rubber defensive rounds followed by jacketed hollow points. And he wanted to know if he was attacked by, say, a knife-wielding assailant, if he fired the two less lethal rounds and that didn't stop the attack, then he fired a lethal round, his jacketed hollow point, and killed the attacker. He wanted to know if he would be in trouble. He wanted to know if he would be charged with a crime. Well, the short answer to that based on what he described, is no, he wouldn't be charged with a crime because he was facing a deadly threat, and he used deadly force to stop that deadly threat. But more important to me is the question, why would you use less than lethal force against a deadly threat, especially a knife-wielding threat, and especially one that's so determined that you've already fired two rounds. If those two rounds hit and cause pain like they're supposed to, that's what rubber bullets do, they cause pain, and they stop people's activity because it hurts, if that didn't stop them, absolutely. Of course, lethal force is required in that case. It's allowed. You need to stop this attacker any way possible. I'm not a huge advocate of using rubber bullets for anything except police crowd control, where you don't want to use any lethal force at all, but you need to stop people's activities. If you're worried about getting attacked by someone with deadly intent, then you want to use deadly force to stop that attack. Now some people go the opposite way and they want to just make absolutely sure that no district attorney can say, well, you used deadly force when you didn't have to. So in that case, yes, two rounds of rubber ammunition would show any district attorney that you were doing everything in your power to not use deadly force. And if your attacker fought through two rounds of rubber bullets, well, then yes, absolutely, time to use deadly force. But think about this, no single handgun round will cause an automatic stop. If you shoot somebody with a handgun round, they might keep coming, whether it's a rubber bullet or a jacketed hollow point. You need to do everything you can to stop the threat as quickly as possible. Rubber bullets don't do that. Rubber bullets are simply pain compliance tools. I'm suggesting that you don't use those. Reserve rubber bullets for crowd control. Let the police and military use those. If you are in such danger that you need to pull out your gun, this is definitely a deadly force situation. Stop the threat the best you can. And the best way to do that is to remove as much blood as quickly as possible from your attacker. I'm Kevin Michalowski, editor of Concealed Carry Magazine. If you like these videos, share them with all your friends and please subscribe to our page. We'll give you more great information every week.